Hi guys, it's me again, and I just want to give you guys an update. So, okay, I'm going up on five and a half. Let me see, James. Okay, in June, yeah, I'll be five and a half years post op. Um, but in March, me and my husband we fasted again for 21 days, <clears throat> no meat. Um, we basically were, were vegans. We didn't do dairy, nothing like that. And lose and regain, y'all, is <laughs> it is so hard. Like, no matter how much I work out, no matter how much water I drink, no matter how health I try to eat, nothing. And <clears throat> even this time around, y'all, my excuse me, my husband did not lose weight like he did the first time. The first, and I, I honestly, I believe. That's because the first time we were <clears throat> running at the park, like, at least three times a week. Well, I set up an appointment with my dietitian next week to get myself back on track again. But I decided, and we still are, like, I'm, like, a complete vegetarian. Now. I don't eat any meat, no poultry, nothing like that. But I love cheese, so I'm going to eat my cheese, and I'm going to need my little sour cream and stuff like that. <clears throat> but... I decided <laughs> to do a, at first I was just going to do, um, seven days. Then I said, uh, let's try 14 days. And I said, no, no, I could do this. I'm going to try to do, um, <clears throat> it's my version of doing it. So I don't know if anybody's out there ever done this. I never have, but. And I'm going to say this. The only reason why I'm doing this is because my husband likes when I cook dinner. So, I don't eat. <clears throat> basically, I eat raw all day. Breakfast, lunch, snacks. And then, for dinner, I have a, one cooked meal a day. So, <clears throat> it's like it may not really be a raw diet because i'm eating raw majority of the day the only thing i'm not eating raw is my dinner and for breakfast i've been eating one greek yogurt with some fruit that's it and that's it um now to help me get my protein i do um drink a protein shake a day i do do that to get my at least talking get some protein in because um when I had did the fast, it had got to a point where I kind of feel, start feeling kind of weak. So I really, it really didn't stop until I started back drinking my protein shakes. Um, but I've decided to do a, I don't know what to call it, like a semi raw diet for a month. And I'm shooting for Pat Foot. I'll be 30 in September and I'm shooting for at least five pounds a month. At least, you know, if I don't get the uh, five pounds a month, I take three pounds. I don't care. Long as I can lose at least 30 pounds, y'all. Because um, this past weekend was my husband's birthday. We went to New Orleans, had a good time. We didn't eat any meat. And also, it was my time of the month. So, therefore, I was bloated. I was miserable. But we still had a good time. Of course, we in this New Orleans. So, we had a couple of drinks and stuff like that. And then I got back home. And I had got back up to one. Okay, like. I'm not going to lie. When I did the fast, I was stuck. I was like, when I first started the fast, I was in the 190s. I got down to 189, and it seemed like the scale just did not move after that. Like, nothing. So, on my way uh, to New Orleans, my weight was like 195. So, now I'm down to 191. So, I'm putting it out there. I'm one out of 1.4 or something like that. I'm not going to weigh myself again until I go to my dietitian next Wednesday. I have to be there at 11.30. So, I will definitely keep you guys updated. So, for dinner, I'm having a salad. It's a raw salad. It's a chopped salad, actually, which I know I'm not going to eat all of it. I, I could probably eat half of this. Um, and all this is just, just basically just, like, cabbage and tomatoes. I did put a little cheese in there. I got sunflower seeds in there. And um something else. It had bacon bits, but I threw the bacon bits out. Um, for a snack, I did find these little bars. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can show y'all. And I'm sorry, it's like nine o'clock at night and I decided to do a video why I don't know. But I found these little bars at Target. And I said these would be good for me to, you know, 
eat while I'm on this journey because they're raw. And I tasted one and it was pretty tolerable and it's called That's It. And it's only 100 calories and it's one apple and one fourth pineapple in this fruit bar. And that's it. So when I get a sweet tooth, I'll just eat on this. Um, I've been eating a lot of fruit. Like the first, like, like today is my, what's today? I started raw on, I want to say Tuesday. So today is my second day doing this raw vegan, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> One cooked meal a day <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. Um, like I said, I'm sorry I'm looking hot mess, but it's late. And nobody's here but me, so I just said I'd go ahead and do a quick video. Um, but I'm just gonna do one cook meal a day. This will be at night for dinner. Um, I'm trying not to like right, like I said, it's late. I just got home from work not too long ago, so that's the only reason why I'm trying to put something in my body is because I got off work late, so I'm gonna eat this salad of what I can eat of it anyway, and um. And this is going to be it. And whatever I don't eat, I'll eat for tomorrow. But yesterday, why did I keep saying that? Was it Tuesday was my first day. First day I did so good. I had a yogurt with some um, blackberries for breakfast and my protein shake. And I still drink coffee, y'all. I, I still drink coffee. I got to have my one cup of coffee a day. That's why I said I really want to call this a raw vegan diet, but... I'm just trying to take care of me. I'm trying to better my, you know, take care of my body because I'm getting up there in age, you know. <laughs> um, I had that for a snack. I made me a um a smoothie, and all I had was like a, a frozen banana, water, one date, and it was like some frozen strawberries. It was so good because I didn't have to add nothing to it. Like just it was just good. I had that for a snack, and then I had orange. I had some hummus with uh, raw peppers, sweet raw sweet peppers, actually. And then for dinner, I did lentil tacos, and my first day was legit. And then yesterday, um, I wish I could, I, I ate all of them. They're called Nutter, Nutter Butter Puffs, or something like this. It's about pop chips, but... It's vegan, and that's why I bought it because I wanted to make sure I could eat it. It's a vegan pop chip, and it's peanut butter flavor. Like, and every and I love peanut butter, especially with my time of the month. So, ever since I found those, like it, I think I can't even remember how much the serving size was, but I ate all those things in like a matter of two days, and it was so good. I wish I could have saved the bag, could have showed it to y'all, but maybe when I come back next Wednesday, I can show y'all. But, like I said, today my weight is like 191.4 or something like that. But, hopefully, my dietitian gives me some good news <laughs> when I go see her. <laughs> because her sister is struggling and it is not easy out here. Like, I see people gain, regain, and then, like, they just, this shit just drop back off. I'm talking about it just drop. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. It's, it's so hard for some of us out here. So, um... Like I said, this that's what I'm doing. Y'all pray for me because I'm gonna be doing this for hopefully I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how far I get in a month. And I what really inspired me, y'all, was I watched this lady on YouTube named Health with Health with Keisha. I love Keisha. And she's a raw well, she's a vegan and, and she did raw vegan and she did it more than once and she looks darn good. So I said I'm gonna give it a try and see how my body do. And like I'm not gonna lie, like the first day, um since my body is really not used to raw vegetables, it I had my moments where my stomach was kind of upset. And, like, I'm going to tell y'all um, what I like. Well, I'm not going to say I like it, but I could. I like to snack on it sometimes, but it don't like me. Avocado, guacamole. Ugh, I be so sick. My stomach just be, like, in knots. And I don't know if it's too fatty. I don't know. But... If I do eat it, it can only be a little bit, like, just enough to, like, put a little, maybe a teaspoon on a taco or something like that. That's, that's it. I can't eat that much of it, y'all. Because um, when I was in New Orleans, I had some avocado toast, and it was so good. But, baby, <laughs> after that, I was sick as a dog. I was sick for probably a good 30, 45 minutes. I was sick. Just trying to get my stomach to calm down because it was a knot. So, 
it's just some things like everybody's body is different and some things that some of us live in the community some of us can't tolerate so that's one of the things that i can't tolerate but um i'm going to try to eat a little bit more of this salad but i just want to give you guys an update of what i'm doing so i'm gonna come back next wednesday because like i said that's my the day of my doctor's appointment and i'm gonna let you guys know if i lost any if the scale stayed the same if i gained i'm just gonna let y'all know i'm gonna be 100 but i'm trying to lose 30 pounds by the time i turn 30 so i have five months so I, if i could do five pounds a month or something like this i'm close to it i'm good so i will see you guys next time good night